What is cracking, mother chuckers around the gas tank world? That's my back here. The gas tank video for you today. You know you're a real long outlaw watcher if you understand a dang word I just said. Apologize. <laughs> Got my trusty dusty laptop today because we're doing something special. Yes, sir. We got the brand new freaking Dirty Max here. This is the baby. Old baby ghost or whatever the tits you guys wanted to call him. I still don't have a name. The old Colorado Bison ZR2. Yes, sir. The Duramax diesel. In law, are you even getting the It's not all about me. Oh, get I'm... the freaking truck there. Oh, yeah, I got it. You got it? Oh, yeah. Oh, you better freaking get it. You no. I'm injured today. No. I'm still freaking <laughs> kicking. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I kind of wanted to put you guys in this process. And I know there's a lot of people that make videos about this. I'm going to make a video about it. <laughs> Today we're going to customize my brand new truck. And I wanted to bring you guys along because there's a lot of different things that I need to order, put in a cart. And I want your guys' opinion on a lot of it. And then I want you guys to just let me know in the comments if there is anything that I missed or anything that I should do. And you guys are going to basically see what this truck is going to look like after we spec this thing out today for everything that we want to do now mind you this is the bison edition so it's already pretty dang good like it's already built you know this is a collaboration with aev american expedition vehicles with chevy so with that being said it's already got decent suspension it's already got um the look it's got off-road bumpers with frog lights it's got you know a lot of things that a lot of trucks don't come with but you know me we can't stop there we can't stop there mother truckers no 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 we gotta go above and beyond and a lot of you guys always freaking question me on every gosh dang build i do saying man that ain't gonna look good you should do this you should have done that but you guys always know when it comes down to getting the truck down it looks freaking good right in-law oh yeah oh yeah no it, it looks really right good. guys yeah right better hit like you better freaking thumbs up this son of a dick Okay, I am on AEV's website right here. Oh my goodness, look at that Colorado. Yeah, boy. So AEV is the company that basically they have like specific built parts strictly for this truck because this they're the ones you know, who built this thing. So we we'll go over here to parts, Colorado. We're going to pick out a couple things that I already have in my head for the front end here. A lot of you guys don't like this grill, by the way. Well, I heard a lot about that in the comments. You guys didn't like this grill. I like this grill a lot. I don't like having the Chevy logo on there. I think this is new. It's sleek. It's cool. I, I dig it. All right. So they have a bunch of different stuff. Like if you don't have the Bison already, like this uh, rear differential skid plate, have that. Fender flares already have that. We're going to start right here with the low tube center section. So that is this piece right here. The bull bar going right here. Now, on my truck, if you look back, that is this silver piece here. So what that low tube center section does is replace this silver piece, adds a bull bar, and then also adds the winch plate for the front winch, which this guy does not have. It has the space for it, but it's only if you kind of want it or not, which this comes with it. So basically the winch goes right behind where this where this license plate cover is. That'll get taken off with the new center sec or the, the tube center section and the winch will go right here. So that guy comes with the winch plate. I'll still have to order some type of winch mount plate and then we'll go ahead and put our winch in there. Which I believe oh let me show you guys what this guy looks like here. We scroll down. So this is what comes with it and it's just all this guy right here. This is the look I'm going for here as well. So it already has the the fog lights here, which these are rigid industries, I believe, and which I think are not these. These are just the stock ones that they come with from the Chevy dealership. If I want some better lit up fog lights, because these guys aren't that bright anyways, we can go ahead and switch those, which we probably will because why not, right? So that is the first thing. And then we'll go back over here and we'll talk about the winch for the very front. Here is the winch mount here. So as you can see, that's where it goes, right, right behind where the, the plate is. So this is actually the winch mount. I can get the winch mount without that tube center section, but I want that bull bar right here, obviously added protection, and it's the perfect place to mount a giant light bar, which in my opinion, adding the light bar, if I go back here and show you that picture, adding the light bar here, you don't want to add it here. They say do not add it here because that actually works as airflow. This guy right here, you'd think that everybody would just mount their light bars right here, but it actually is used for airflow for the engine and everything like that. So it would actually mount to the underneath the bull bar, like right here. Now, the reason I like to have a light bar on the bumper rather than up there, especially with a white truck, is because one, when you're at night, 
this has no reflection it just goes straight out to the road when you have something up top especially when you have a white truck it bounces off the hood right back into your eyes no matter how you have it pointed there's going to be some light that's being bounced right back into your eyes that's the problem i have with the dually is the whole hood is white pretty much and it bounces right back into my face and you know i can still see really well but it's not as good as my light bar that I have on the bump. For further notice, if you guys really do want to see off-road rather than just looking cool with having a light bar over your windshield, it's always better to put it on the bumper. So I've been going back and forth with different light bars and stuff like that. We'll probably end up going with Rigid Industries. I've never had a problem with them. They're very expensive, but you know, they're well known and they have their new React lighting, which we'll get to in a second, which reacts to the situation that you're in and, and changes. But anyways, with this winch mount right here, it is designed and tested with the worn nine and a half. So it's basically a 90 500 pound winch that'll go right there it'll be perfect for this truck and its weight so you're not going to be pulling it uh pulling it all around i think the suburban has a i think it has a 12,000 pound winch and it's a little overboard for the suburban even though it's lifted and got a lot of gear on it um it's still a little overboard and the bourbon likes to slide a little bit it'd probably be perfect for the dually because that has a lot more weight in the front with the Duramax, but that nine and a half will probably be perfect for this guy. So we'll end up doing that for the winch. So I'm gonna go ahead. I didn't add the other thing to cart. I'm gonna add this guy to cart. 250 for that winch mount. God dang, boy. They're proud of their products, aren't they? All right, and then we'll go back. I forgot to add the low tube center section. Go ahead and add this to cart here. Dude, in-law, what do you think? How much do you think for everything that we're talking about today? Give me a number. Give me something it'll be over or under. How much do you think everything will be? Because I don't even know. I'm just gonna say eight. Eight what? Thousand? Yeah. It better not be eight thousand. <laughs> Holy dick, dude. <clears throat> God, man. Nah. Five. You think it'll be under five or over five? Mm, or just around? Around. I still think it'll be lower than that. Well? I'm gonna say, I don't know, dude. Okay, I'll say it'll be a little over five. <sighs> Let's go into what everybody's been talking about. And when you see these Colorados going down the road, you talk about the snorkel. So we're going to do a snorkel kit for this guy. Um, it is very pricey, as you see. They're very proud of their prices. $460 for the snorkel. So the snorkel will get mounted right here. Now, the cool thing about it, you know, well, one bad thing about a snorkel is you got to drill right into the freaking body, right? But the cool thing about the snorkel is if I don't do it myself and I take it over to GM, the dealership, it goes under warranty with Chevy. So if they ever screw anything up or if there's ever leakage or anything like that, they cover it under the warranty. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and add this guy. Here's all the parts, this is what it looks like. This guy, especially for, especially for being up in the mountains, going through water all the gosh dang time, especially with a lot of snow up there and a lot of miltage and avalanche type stuff, it's gonna be freaking perfect. We'll go ahead and add that as well. So at this point, we're adding a little bit more black. This silver is going to be deleted. There's going to be a winch. There's going to be a bull bar. We'll have the light bars. We'll probably redo the fog lights. I don't know if I'm going to spec out all the light bars and lights today because that's just a lot of work. And then we're going to add the snorkel. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the front. But you guys know one of my special tricks when I always start buying things for vehicles and stuff like that, the lights are very important. Actually, doing your headlights and taillights, especially taillights and the third brake light and everything like that, they're like bright red, right, from the factory. If you do something that's black, it just changes the whole look of the truck especially with this with like a tinted lens and you know hids lid lids lids you got to get some lids so i've always gone with anzo so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i don't even know i haven't even looked and see what they have for the headlight version but let's go ahead and see what they have for my truck they don't even have 2020 stuff yet but the 2019 and the 2020 are like exactly the same and it looks like they don't even have anything they just have a third brake light and this is for a 15 to 18 so i don't even know if it'll fit um so we might have to wait on that i'm sure recon or something i'll i'll take a look if you guys see any headlights or taillights and stuff that'll fit this truck that you guys think will look pretty badass just hit me up on social media at jared outlaw on everything let me know if you guys find anything i'll leave that guy i'll leave that up to you but obviously i want something a little bit darker you know we got a white and black offset on this guy just like ghost is you can see the back of ghost we'll go over there and look at these they're a little dirty here but you can see it's uh it, everything's black inside it's not the red and everything like this guy is so we'll make it look a lot better all right now one of the most important things that ladies and gentlemen 
is lifting this guy up a little bit. Now there is, you know, it's it's lifted a little bit more than than a, a regular Colorado is that you get from the factory or whatever, but they're only fitting 31 inch tires under this guy. I think if this truck is lifted a little bit and you put some more rubber underneath, this could be a bad mamma jamma on the freaking trail. I'm telling y'all right now. A lot of people say that online, like, dude, if you lift a Colorado, it's gonna be a bad trail runner. So my plan is to do a four inch lift kit on this guy and put 35s underneath. I think that is gonna look insane. So my goal, four inch lift, because you know, four inches is just my special number, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and with the four inch lift, we'll be able to fit 35 inch tires. Hopefully not have to do much cutting. So I think the four inch will be perfect. It won't be too high. We'll still be able to fit 35s. I've seen a couple people do it already. I haven't seen anybody do it on a bison quite yet, but I uh, am a big fan of BDS, BDS suspension. I know that they have a four inch kit for this, but I might have to call them real quick because I think what I found out is they only have them for the 18s. And I think for the 19s, it says they only have a five and a half inch lift. So I'm gonna check it really quick and see what they got. Let's see, 2015 to 2019. Yeah, all they have and a five and a half inch coil over. So here's the four inch kit, four inch suspension. This is for a 2017 to 2018 Colorado. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. I might have to call them. It says it'll fit 35s, which is weird because the five and a half inch lift says it'll only fit a 305, which is, 33 i think which i don't get but you guys see this picture right here that's pretty sick right there that's kind of what it'll look like with 35 inch tires and a four inch suspension lift i might try to call these guys really quick and see if it'll fit <laughs> All right, they didn't answer, but uh, we'll call them back in a bit. So the only issue that I have with this, and which is with most of them that I've been seeing for this guy, is you can't go with the stock 17 uh, or 16, 17 inch wheel. You have to go with 20s because with like a five and a half inch back spacing, because you're gonna start hitting control arms and stuff like that back there. It's already pretty tight. So you're gonna have to go with a pretty decent back spacing, which is fine because you know it gives you a cooler look. But as far as a 20 inch wheel, you know, it just makes everything a little bit bigger and we're gonna have to do some trimming, which trimming is required pretty much with every lift as far as, unless I just go with a 33, but I kind of want to fit 35s, man. <laughs> Why not? So this kit is, it's a four inch independent front suspension system in the front and then it's a two inch block in the rear. And then I like BDS as well because if anything ever breaks while you're installing it, if you're the first owner or whatever, they'll, you just call them and they'll send you a freaking part instantly. They'll overnight it to you. Never had a problem with these guys. I like dealing with them. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about a four inch lift and 35s. Let me know if there is another, I know Icon, I know that Icon also might have one. And let me see what these guys have. I like Icon as well. They're kind of coming up in the desert game here. Let's see what they have for a lift on this guy. Cause I know a couple people have used these guys. 2015 and up Colorado, complete suspension systems. See these guys come, a lot of these guys come with control arms and everything as well. Ugh. So it looks like Icon's only got the three inch. Does come with control arms, does come with uh, coilovers, does come with, uh, bypass shocks, all that crap. It's pretty cool, but I'm just gonna have to do a little bit more searching on that guy. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about the four inch lift and I don't wanna put it on the pretty El Camino even though it's all dirty. Y'all let me know what you think about the four inch lift and the 35s. Cause I think that's probably the best combo for this guy. I'm gonna turn this thing around cause the sun's starting to come out. Oh, I did forget one thing on the front. I did forget one thing, and that just happens to be this sexy son of a dick. This is what I wanna do right there. That light bar. That is the Pro 6 from KC. Looks like this guy. This is KC's new line of light bars. They're pretty dope. That's what they look like there. Pretty freaking sweet. That's what I wanna go ahead and do on this guy. But I haven't been able to find one that says that it fits this guy. They, they only do ones for Jeep and, uh, and Nissan and stuff like that. So I don't know. I'm gonna try to find one that actually fits. I'll probably give them a call and see because a lot of them are universal with a lot of different trucks. I just gotta get the right fitment, I guess. But I definitely wanna do that on this guy. I think it'll look pretty sick and those things let off a lot of light. Okay, as far as the back goes, 
Obviously, tail lights, third brake light will get changed out whenever we find the ones that we wanna do. Now, this guy already has the shackle system on the back. It has the, the tubes, the rock sliders all the way down the back, the towing package, everything like that. As you can see, there's a couple little cube cutouts in here. These guys pop out and they fit a, they fit a, a three inch LED cube. So we're probably gonna do that guy right there. Put two rigid industry uh, three inch cubes up in that guy. And then we'll be able to have a little bit of light for the back when we're camping or hunting or whatever the tits we're gonna do. Or flip that some dick on whenever you're backing up and you can see everything. If I've got to back up to a trailer at night or something like that, backup camera will pick it up real freaking nicely. Now, this is a very important thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I'm gonna need a little bit of your input. And that just happens to do with the bed here. Now, this is, mind you, this is a this is the short bed, right? So it's not a long bed. They don't make the long bed in this version or anything like that. But my question is, what do I do back here? Because I'm not really a fan of the tube cover. I, basically, if you guys watch my buddy Lunker's TV, he, him and I were talking about different rack systems and stuff back here. And he ordered one that I'm not a big fan of, strictly because this is gonna be a daily driver as well. And you know, a lot of stuff is gonna get in the way for other stuff that I'm doing. If I ever need to put wood back here or stuff like that, I'm gonna have to move stuff around and whatever. Basically is a tube system that goes over this. About to right here, you can put water, diesel, and, and there's storage on the sides and stuff. And you guys liked my idea. I wanted to mount a winch back here to right here, you know, see if we can tie it into the frame somehow or some other cross member down here that it, it, it'll, it'll go into nicely and be sturdy because I think we do a lot of hunting, it would be really cool to winch animals in, especially if, you know, it's hard to lift. Now, with that being said, my other idea was just doing a cap on this thing, which a cap, in my opinion, is really cool because we could do a Lear cap or an ARE cap or something like that, and they have interior storage that comes with the cap, whether it be a, a slider on the top that'll come out, like a big drawer, something like that. It's just extra storage and then also cover for when we're taking road trips in the wintertime, which we mostly do for hunting season. So it keeps all your stuff protected back here because obviously it's a smaller cab. It is the crew cab, but it doesn't have a lot of room like my dually does. So we need to put a lot of the equipment back here. And if it's snowing and stuff on the road, it's not protected back here. So possibly doing a cap back here rather than, you know, uh, some type of tube system, I think might be ideal. I just kind of want to know what you guys think. And I'll show you something right now. So if we just go to Lear, let's see what they have for this guy. So it looks like we got the 100XL, the XR, and the R. So that's basically what it'll look like. We'd obviously get white. It's got the, the vents on the side, a little bit sleeker than the other models. Got the twist cap on the top. I believe they all come with a drawer on the top as well, which I can add. Fully insulated and everything like that. It'll kind of look like this, which is on this Toyota. That's kind of what it'll look like there. And then obviously you can put a rack system up here um, for extra storage on top. Stuff that doesn't need to be protected like when we go snowboarding or something like that because me and in-law do a lot of gosh dang snowboarding in the winter. So I don't know. There's a lot of different systems that I could do for the bed back here for storage and stuff. So if you guys see anything that I'm not seeing, you guys make sure to hit me up and let me know. Oh, God dang, dude, it's early. I need some energy. Oh, yeah, that's good. Freaking Peach Mango Zero, my favorite flavor right there. Outlaw Energy. Guys, if you haven't tried this energy drink yet, you need to, dude. I'm telling y'all, it's the best one out there. And it's zero calories per serving. That means if you have two servings of this, you'll still have zero calories. Sherlock, I guess. Anyways, I like saving you guys freaking money. So if you guys want to go to that link in the description box below outlinergydrinks.com, click that son of a dick. And what I want you to do is put two items in your cart. And then when it asks you for a code, put in the code Jared Bogo, and you'll get one of them sons of dicks for free, boy. Dude, two for the price of one. Buy one, get one free, boy. You're freaking welcome, dude. You my curtsy. <laughs> mm. Save some money, I'm telling you guys, go try this stuff, it's freaking good. So this is kind of what I was thinking here. This is a Colorado that was specifically built by AEV. This is one of their very first ones. But this is a tube system that I like because there's a lot of extra room. But the only issue is I think that they custom built this one. I would love to have this type of rack. In my opinion, this is one of the sexiest Colorados they made. This is the one that they made quite a long time ago. When them and Chevy actually uh, hooked up, this is what they did. So it's very, very cool. This is kind of the one that I'm trying to spec out and make it look like. Obviously they painted a lot of the stuff to make it look cooler. I love these wheels. These are uh, an AV beadlock wheel that I've been thinking about getting. This is made by Crestone. <clears throat> dude, it's a freaking yellow plate. Are you serious? He's only like 20 feet up there, dude. I could probably punch him. 
Gah! Oh crap. I hope he's got a parachute. <laughs> so yeah, this is like some really high quality pictures of what I'm trying to do with this guy. But if I can find a system like this for the bed, that is what I definitely want to do because it looks freaking sick. And I love that color too. Anyways, I know this has been going long. We've been going over a lot of parts. A uh, couple things is one, I know there is a delete kit out for this guy uh, through a couple, Duramax tuner has one, I think HP tuners has one. Um, we could definitely delete this guy and these things are really badass. If you guys haven't seen a uh, Colorado deleted yet, they are badass. Look up a video on it. They, they're super, super cool. That's definitely coming in the future. Um, I don't know if I want to do a delete kit on it quite yet. Maybe wait till it gets 30,000 miles so I still have that warranty just in case for anything else because um, once we do the delete kit, everything's gone. And then if we roll inside here this is my question for you guys you know i like to put seat covers on everything i use the company cover king you know so you know it's nice leather interior in here and if we're going to be doing a lot of working and hunting and stuff in this guy stuff might get pretty beat up so i'm thinking about doing some seat covers for this guy and i'll show you what they got for because they've got a bunch of different things so obviously we're going to have to do some type of camo we love doing that so they've got cryptech mossy oak real tree multi-cam atax digital you know traditional and digital tactical they've got all different types of stuff so obviously it's just kind of what will look best mountain country i think would look sick obviously we're in the mountains i didn't even think about this but got some aspen trees on there a little bit of green i think that might look really cool basically if you guys got a favorite camo or something like that you guys let me know what we should do in the in the description box i would say doing a snow camo would be cool but they mostly come really white and i do a lot of dipping and i do a lot of wiping my fingers so <laughs> it might look like i shit myself you said let me know in the description box oh <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. The only other thing would be the wrap, which I don't like to wrap these things until everything else is done because then you got, you kind of get a look of how the truck looks and what kind of wrap you want to go with. So we'll talk about the wrap once everything else gets done. I'm going to go ahead and order all this stuff today. Within the next week or so, we will have all the parts and we will start bolting them sons of dicks on. But yeah, the main reason I did this video on customizing everything and what we're going to order is because I want a lot of your guys' input. So if there's anything that we talked about in today's video that you guys would like to see, I know it's a long video, but it's just one of those things that, you know, I want you guys' input. You guys let me know in the comments below, not the description box. Make sure you go in that description box and check out our merch <laughs> hey, that's a good segue these are the new lawn ranger shirt that's right like i told you guys we are giving away my 2010 lifted chevy suburban if you guys sign up for my shirt of the month on outlawmerch.com you guys will be entered to win that son of a dick it's going all the way till the end of the year so sign up now Get your shirts of the month every single month you'll get a new gosh dang shirt and it's only 15 bucks it's cheaper than actually buying a shirt can you freaking believe that? I don't even know why I did that. Why did I do that? Anyways, if you guys go sign up, click outlawmerch.com. Sign up and you could be entered to win my badass bourbon. All right, man. I think that's it. Hope you guys dig it. I think it's going to be fun working on this guy. Making it a sick daily driver, but also a badass hunting truck. That's the plan, Stan. Speaking of hunting, in-law and I are leaving tomorrow to go elk hunting up in the mountains. So we are going to take this guy uh, completely how it is and see how she does. I think it's gonna do pretty cool. I love the suspension in this thing compared to the dually because that thing's a little rough. I think we're gonna need to airbag that thing soon. Anyways, I love you mother truckers. I'll be reading your comments and we'll see what we gotta do with this thing. 25, bait 366, no matter what you're doing, always keep a freaking heel, Billy. Holler. Bah! Uh. Apologize. Huh. Oh, Dude, that's an expensive camera to slap. <laughs> I didn't mean, I, I wasn't slapping you guys. I was slapping in-law. That was, I only see this as a space, so. I like to beat him up a little bit, you know? He likes it anyways. He's into some weird <laughs> Way into the big bucks is where I'll be. I got shine in the storms as far as you can see. Country Al Capone to find me, you need a drone. Walk up in my woods and get a prod into the dome. I got frog gigs, trot lines, catfish hooks, and sharpened buck tines. All for you if you cross me for the last time.